All right, man, we're actually back on the fly cast. I'm trying to see some guy ass. Damn chick, she got a nice rack, but I'm not trying to find that. I need some real hard. Real bars. Real bars. Seals are real. real. I have a rhyme, but I can't say it. Welcome back to episode 90 of the Fly Cast, I know this presented is... by Center and the nice corduroys. corduroys bing bags that we're sitting on. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> are you hungover? No, I'm fucking... Did you... Are you... Uh, I haven't... Talking... I haven't... I don't think I've drank in a week, and what's That's crazy what is it, it feels like... I'm tired. So I think it's been over a week, and it feels like a long fucking time. When they put our uh, Flycast set here, uh, they asked me, is there anything that you want from the original set to be here? I saw it. And I said, <laughs> only one thing. The reality check jersey. I wish if there, if, if there was a way <laughs> They I could... moved us from our permanent set and now we're floating fly, Flycast again. Yeah, I guess they're doing... Or so, we're, we're, we are... Reco- we, they moved us. Shut out RC. Because over Warheads. there... Now we got me, we got Pomage, I think Formal's, Formal's moving going over there. I don't know how that's going to go. Yeah. yeah because this isn't like, it seems different. It's obviously not that section. It's not as big as the hex quarters. Yeah. But like, I don't know how, because Formal's going to stream here every single day. Or not but stream, you guys are, but at you least guys have just, You guys have opposite schedules though. Yeah. That, so that's it should, what works. It shouldn't, be, it shouldn't be that bad. Even like yesterday... Pam was here streaming and it's just like dude I just I know in like I feel like in real life I'm like I wouldn't say quiet but my just I don't project like how I do on stream dude, you, and then when I get on stream and put those headphones in bro it's like you might be the loudest I'm, person I've ever seen stream bro I feel you I remember, would probably make repulse seem quiet yeah I don't know it's just like how I feel like I don't even I'm not, I mean, I am loud, but it's just like how I project once I get those headphones in and uh, fucking, dude, it's like soundproof. Uh, it, it's never any other time. Like you, like you're never that, you're never even 10% of that volume yeah. ever in any other scenario in your life. Even when we're rapping in the car, you're like 50% yeah. of that volume. But when you stream, you do this, you do this one work, you, you do this one sound when you get joked or something where you go dude and it's the loudest thing i ever. feel bad like <laughs> I, i'm literally so like se- i mean i was self-conscious in the hex quarters too because like sometimes i would rage and i just know everyone's there and we're in like an open spot like i know i think it was like the other day or something i was streaming and i was just like what the fuck <laughs> and i turn around and like matt craig was like just doing some setup and i bet he was fucking oh, like dude, jump I, scared I, you, you, like, you made me jump yesterday th- there was some one of the girl or a woman that works here i don't i'm not familiar with her she was like walking around over here like doing grabbing something or something and she was uh, i did one of my rages and i looked to my left and she's like grabbing something off the table and i'm just like oh my god because i know <laughs> i know it's so loud and i don't even like try to be loud when i'm doing it but it's just so natural to just yeah. get it out. No, I mean it's f- everybody know everybody's cool with it. It's just very loud. It's like the even loudest. sitting in, even sitting in there. I wonder how loud it is. Even just like regularly talking, and I'm like, like I said, I've been, I was self conscious at the hex quarters. I feel like self conscious here, especially if like find a Pam streaming practically like right beside oh. me. His stream can hear my hear me like the whole fucking time and I'm also playing with him and there's I don't a, know. I'm there's just... a possibility that if Matt and Bruce start actually Bruce will probably stream from the COD room. Yeah. So may it'll just be Matt. And Matt streams at night. I think you'll be fine. But those are the only people that like, are gonna stream here. Matt's schedule's weird. So, so I mean weird. like when I walk You'll into the see him on at 7 a.m. 
or you'll see them on at just the complete opposite yeah, time. Yeah, 8 p.m. It's, it's just totally random. When I walk into the headquarters, I never know if Matt's going to be there. No, yeah. Sometimes he's there, and sometimes he. Sometimes I won't see him for three days, and sometimes he's there every day for a week. Yeah. I remember oh, when wow. I first started playing there, he was there every single day. Like, every single morning I'd come in, he would come in, like, shortly after. You'd walk yeah. in with his, like, bre- I'd be there at, like, 9 or 10. He'd come in at, like, 10 with his fucking DoorDash breakfast. Watch me for a little bit, then he goes streams, and like that was like an everyday thing, and then eventually he just like disappeared, and yeah. then I would like not see him, but then I know he's getting there at probably like two or three, just the scream and whatever. Matt's competitive schedule and his personal life schedule is like you just never it. It's very like hundred or zero. I can't wait to see what everyone does when they retire like i i know formal's gonna end up retiring and then he's gonna like just stream and he's gonna be a pretty big streamer for a while but it's just like i want to see people like do the thing with the thing with other shit the thing with our guys is like like i don't know like is anyone i don't know if matt has i don't know if matt has that like matt will stream and he'll stream for 12 hours a day but i don't think he's gonna hit like content like the way that like like a scum the way that we do or the way that Seth Seth does or like shots I think when Shotzi retires he's gonna do crazy shit like super content based yeah. stuff I think Matt's gonna try to do what Summit does and just like stream stream and maybe Matt Matt will should get like a really good editor that'll just rip his stream vods and make something out of it mm-hmm. I, I follow a lot of people that do that like Summit Summit's channel is like that Stroud's channel is like that Mango's channel is like that. Where it's just like they don't do stuff for content; they just have an editor that rips their shit and makes uploads. So maybe Matt will do that, but yeah, I feel I feel like you can't relate as much because you did have like you were, you had more of a real life jobs, college, and you weren't necessarily. I mean, I'm guessing you would work and then just come home and play COD, and like that was your life. But like when I think of us. Dude, for so long, like, it's, like before I joined Optic, there was there was like maybe a year and a half, or maybe maybe just maybe a year, where I joined Opt. Or so before I joined Optic, my life was just like I pretty much did nothing in real life. It was just when food, I did have a, in Halo. When I when I did have a job, it would just be job, then Halo. Maybe for a little bit I would gym, but it was like never really hanging out with people. But if I did hang, I got a certain group of friends. Whereas like if if I did hang out with people, they were like Halo friends. We would all like, or they they were new bams, but they liked Halo. So I'd like go to their place. We'd smoke weed, play Halo, and yep. it was like fun. But like that's the only shit I would do. So I never had like, I don't know, just doing other shit like going outside, fucking. What do people like go into bars when you're 21 and just yeah? What I mean, I'm trying to think of what people actually do in real life. Oh, so I don't know what they that, do. So people that's like what you're hang talk- out with each other. Is that shit. what you're talking about when you say you wonder what people are going to do when they retire? Not like what they're going to do professionally, but what they're just going to do in general. Well, what they're going to do professionally, but like kind of how is their life going to be change? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like because because what not necessarily what I do now, but what I did do for. The entire time, my whole pro career. Then I joined Optic, and then I started like making videos. We go out sometimes, mm-hmm. and I definitely had like was living in the actual real world more. But before that, I would just I'm at home at my PC just like the whole time in Discord or back then it was Skype. I don't think Matt. I think that's going to be what Matt does. Yeah, I think Matt Matt will stream, but but I, I look. He's back not going to change. He's not going to. Ch- you went through like a, an awakening. I don't think Matt needs an, an awakening. I think he just is a gamer at heart. Yeah. I don't think you were a gamer at heart. I think you were a wannabe rapper that happened to well, like Halo. I didn't have the, <laughs> I didn't have, I was a wannabe like, you see, you see these like YouTubers that like go to Ibiza and they fucking. They go to where? Ibi- it's Ibiza, but it's pronounced Ibiza. Like if you're Spanish, it's pronounced that way. I think so. Oh, okay. Um, but like these YouTubers that had have this like sort of party lifestyle, and I feel like I always kind of like looked at that like it's like I wanted that, 
But then when I'm not drunk or like doing drugs, I don't want any part of that. I don't want to be around those Ooh. type of people. Like I can't, yeah. I don't really like, I'm definitely more reserved and then we just like wouldn't click like that. But like, if I'm like drunk or like when me and Ace went to Ibiza, fucking literally landed, got Coke in Mali at the airport. What? I, yeah. I did from our, from our driver what because he just knew like we were foreigners and I mean, we're it's like, just like drugs we know what yeah do you guys want <laughs> this but we know i know you just landed so like do you want we got that and like i just knew the whole time i was gonna get like fucked up and just like during my gaming years i always kind of like wanted that experience and like yeah these not like these rappers that do drugs and stuff but there was just always like i was always a gamer but then I was always like, man, there's just like, there's a whole world like, out there's there. There's a whole world out yeah. there. And it's like, I kind of want to like just dip my toes into it. Yeah. But I was just always, always at my desktop my whole life. I was on my PC my whole life. Then I joined Optic. Then we, I sort of had lived it, not in the real world at all because it was moving into the Optic house. But it yeah. was like, we would go out sometimes. I'm like talking to, I have roommates now that I'm not just spending all day every day on my fucking setup. Yeah. But then after a year, it's like everyone just is in their rooms. Bose does whatever. Flame goes, works out, whatever. And everyone's just sort of in their rooms playing whatever they fucking play. Yeah. And then I started fucking taking Addy a shit ton again. And then it just turned into me sitting at my setup. And then it just got worse and worse and worse. And then for, I mean, before I joined Optic, I was probably doing that for like four years. Like abuse. That's how I got arthritis in my neck. I've said this before, but like playing Hearthstone for literally 56 hours straight yeah. didn't move at all and then like my neck started hurting I was I took a fuck ton of Adderall to stay up my neck started hurting I like never did anything about it and it just got worse and worse and worse um but yeah once joined Optic did a few things in the real world for like a year then it was just to my setup or living at my setup and then Adderall for years and years and years. And then I look back now. The point is I look back now and I'm like, man, I could have done like so much more. I could have lived so much more healthy. I could be in like such better shape. I could have had like so many more experiences and like I could have. I could have, what's the fucking word I'm looking for? There was a time if my mental was right and I wasn't just taking adding and sitting at my fucking setup all day and gaming and I could have done so much more content, just been so much more productive. I mean, I still could have done it, but it was just like, I was just never in the fucking mood and I was always depressed. But just like look out on so many different things I could have did, like content, traveling, travel, or some shit. Just fucking take full advantage of what I had at the moment. But all I did was just like live my life at my setup. And now, and that was all the way up until 2020. And then now these just like past few years, I've like started to sort of live in the real world. And yeah. I just like, I look back at like 10 years, definitely not wasted. There was definitely some times that were wasted, but I'm just like, man, I could have done, I just could have done so much fucking more. And I just wonder if like, I mean, maybe a part of me thinks like that because I don't have the fucking accolades formal as. So like when I'm sitting there gaming all day, uh, I'm yeah. getting fucking eighth place and you. Halo 5 pissed off. I'm not sitting there getting the experiences of like winning and yeah. that feeling of you're on stage and the optic crowd. And like, I didn't really get that. So maybe that's why I look at it and I'm like, just like, damn, I could have done so much more. I feel like I'd missed out on like some of my twenties. No, I don't think so. I mean, so I just wonder if they, I don't know. I think of it. They're obviously younger and from their perspective, like they live that life now of like their life is wake up, go to your PC grind grind and then go to sleep and repeat and that's every single day and i just wonder yeah. like not that they're gonna regret it because they've done they're, they're living in a ridiculous it. time right <laughs> yeah, now they're not gonna regret it yeah they're living that's in a ridiculous time but i just wonder like what are when that when they do retire 
what are their lives? I wonder how many people like? are going to have to go to like not like a bad way. I just wonder like I'm just wonder if I mean I know they're going to end up just like streaming and shit, but it's like I kind of want to see someone just like branch off and what if they just start? You talking about Addy made me realize that next month is three years for me. No Addy. Yeah, three years. Three years. So wait, next month is when did you stop? Was it October 2020? Damn. So I got. Oh shit! And then yours was January. So you stopped right before me. I stopped because of you. <laughs> uh, mine was December twenty seventh. Or no, I think it was like J- December because I ran out on like December twenty second or something. And then I went into rehab like five days later. Yeah. So mine's yeah, it'll be. You'll be well. Three I mean, I'll, years? My, mine is not like obviously it's intense. It's just when yeah. I stopped. Right. And I was like, I'm never doing that shit again. I'm telling you, that shit did something. Like, I'm still paying the price now, like, mentally. And I think I, people, I think our, I think the Flycast viewers understand they that. They get that they at get this that. point, because I've talked talked about it. They're here, they're done. here just to, I think the, our, our audience for the Flycast is just people that are, can just relate. A lot of people watch watch podcasts to like for learn like entertainment. Something. They like learn something or enter, or entertain something. Somebody super funny. Yeah, it's either or like somebody Hu- super smart. Huberman, Andrew Huberman, yeah. Joe Rogan, or <laughs> fucking Bobby. What's his name? Bradley Martin. What's his Bobby? The Asian dude. Yeah, Bobby. Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee. That dude's fucking hilarious. Uh, but for us, it's just people that are just like, oh shit. So these optic guys are just like normal ass motherfuckers. Yeah. And they're just fucking gamers that. I, I wonder think- how many people, uh, you, you got me thinking about it. I, I saw an interview with Ray Romano and. Who's that? Everybody Loves Raymond. Oh, okay. So he said after Everybody Loves Raymond, he did it for 10 years. 10 or more maybe. 10 year, at least 10 years of his life was playing. Every day, showing up to work, playing a version of himself. Ray, you know, everybody loves Raymond. He's Ray Romano. He, mm-hmm. he wrote the show. He produced the show. It's about his life. And then the show ends. And he was like, I was like lost for like six months. I didn't know what my life was. I didn't know who I was because yeah. I've been living a version of myself on camera doing all this stuff. And now all the people that I hang out with every single day are all gone. Mm-hmm. And he was like, I went, I, I went, to, I, I started going to therapy and one day wasn't enough. I had ended up having to go three times a week for like a year. And I wonder how many people that live this like competitive lifestyle like in esports, when it's done, like I wonder how many people are gonna have to do that, and they don't have anything lined up. Well, they like, bro. How many pros that weren't like top tier names, but how many pros like went pro, had that competitive lifestyle? They were getting top six. They're scrimming every day. They're trying to win, and then like they got, how do you call it, washed up or whatever. Basically, like me to where they retire now or no CDL teams want to pick them up, but they're still like, whether they're in challengers now or they're just retired and they're just playing wagers. And it's like, is that, and I just, I say this on stream, so I'm just going to say it here. And it's like, they're probably taking Adderall every single day just to grind. A lot of, a, a, a lot of people do. And I'm just I just look at it like, damn, like I know that feeling and that's just not, it's not a, a, a good, it wasn't feeling. a fun fucking life to live and was yeah. not just, it was just not a good feeling. And I just wonder what, I think they, they feel the same thing almost. It's like, damn, I'm not even pro, but it's like, I have this like competitive itch or I'm not pro anymore, but I have this competitive itch and I like love, I love competing, but it's like, now it's like, they don't really get anything out of it so i'm sure they definitely i'm sure they definitely feel lost a little bit i know i felt lost a little bit i know i want to talk to skump i think skump felt a certain way for a little bit there's a couple things that seth told me that obviously it's not my business to tell but like yeah he it's got to be. I mean, I mean it's all obvious. He, it's I, all I, he's I known. Knew it was coming. Like, it's always gonna. It's gonna come to everyone. I yeah, think. It, it's all he's known. He's been competing since he was 
14. Bro, literally. And even like 26 yeah. now or something. 28. Like you can even count just online. Like, you know, Seth's going to school, coming home, and it's just like he's just, yeah. people are looking at him, this fucking prophecy. They, of, they called, they said, they, at his, at his high school graduation, they called his name out Optic Scump. Really? Yes. That's like that's how long he's been not only playing but like famous. Like and then And to, then one to, day he just like I'm done. And then there's still this thing where it's like I could oh, probably yeah. do it still though. Being being good I think retiring while knowing you're still good enough to compete. I don't think I don't I mean there's not 24 sub SMGs in the league that are better than Seth. Yeah. It's, not, it's not. That's not the the case. Yeah. Uh, it's just that it was his. He felt it was his time. Mm-hmm. So that I think there's a there's an element of that that's harder, but also easier. Yeah. Especially since he's got all the shit lined up. Right. That's. I mean, that definitely fucking. There's got. I mean. Dude would have lost his mind oh, if he didn't. Dude, just like just if, doing. Even like, if he just like only could, sh- not only could stream, but if like all he had lined up was like I'm just gonna stream a shit done. Do yeah. you do? I don't think he would have. I, I was trying to tell him watch like, parties, break down the podcast. Like I think this is like I was. Really, I was trying to tell him when he retired. I was like, you need. I said you need someone like True, and. <laughs> <laughs> I said you need someone like True and this motherfucker went and stole True. But anyway, I said you need someone like True that will like guide you into what you need to produce cuz like I think some people think that like when they retire they can they can just stream yeah. and like that's enough. But like a lot of the times it's not like unless you're unless you're cranking out 14 hour days every day where people start to be like, "Oh shit, well He's always online, so I can always go to his stream. Yeah. Like you're, it's gonna be. You can't really knock out five, six hour days every single day and like continue to grow. But like Seth did a really good job of like getting back into that like live commentary and like all that and yeah, like I'm doing so- YouTube and doing stream and and the watch party and the optic content. Like he really went all in. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wasn't surprised about his YouTube numbers, but I kind of looked at it like. Call of Duty YouTube is dead. Oh, Seth's an anomaly. But like Seth, don't just get it like twisted. He starts it up again, and it's just like, God damn, like two hundred fifty k in two days. Seth for... is an anomaly yeah. when it comes to that shit. He, there's not another person on the planet that can do live commentaries and they pop like that. What? But, but to be fair, like watching a Seth live commentary even now is still mad impressive. Bro, he's I used, making I used jokes. To put him on he's... my TV when I'd like get home from streaming or whatever. I'd put him on my TV yeah. and just like eat. Yeah, just it, eat. They, just it'd just chill. be recommended. So I just He's like, dropping 100 like, kills while what making jokes. Motherfucker's doing <laughs> post retirement. Yeah. No, no there and and it's funny cuz like the on it is so stream and YouTube. I probably talked about this on the flycast because I talk about this a lot, but stream and YouTube is so fucking different. Where it's like the breakdown and the watch party is massive for his stream, it's by far the best thing he does on his stream. Yeah, but when you when he re uploads that on his channel, it doesn't hit the same audience as if he just does a live commentary because right. his YouTube his YouTube platform is like people want to see him play. And then his stream right now, people want to see him watch. Mm-hmm. People want to see like his the inside of his mind of like w- watching the CDL and like watching along with him. So I think he has done almost perfect. Yeah. Like, but even with how perfect he has been since retirement, like I bet you that shit's still hard. Like still mentally. Yeah. Like. Like some, like uh, like the only competitive of like, I'm good as fuck. I'm the best that he gets anymore. It's like playing Apex and like doing a sick play every now and again. Yeah. Rather than like winning scrims, dominating scrims, shitting on kids every single day, winning an event, placing well, whatever. It's just like it doesn't hit the same yeah. when you're just streaming. With Zinni and How on Apex, you might get a, the dope. 
it's the fucking dope yeah. that we're all chasing. The he ain't getting the. You're dope. checking my dope, yeah, bro. bro. <laughs> you're, ch- you're checking my dope is actually so checked right he, uh, now. He doesn't get the dope <laughs> hits like he used to. Speaking of the dope hits, the um the Dynasty Pod came out. Yeah, Dynasty. I watched a little out. bit of it. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I s- tuned in a little. I think towards the end when it was live, it was good. Yeah, it the uh, the reception has been really, really positive. Besides that one, besides the black issue. and white, it had it didn't technically have to be done, but apparently only one of the cameras looked good. Only one of the cameras looked and good. And the, rest the of them others, were... which I can understand, were like, <laughs> dude, he said, he said, like he you said, could... Ian and Ian, because it was Ian's camera and uh, Formal. and formals, and he said, dude, I haven't even seen the screenshots, but he, I was like, dude, it's got to be usable, and he was like, they're so green. They had like LED lights behind me, and apparently Seth and I looked good, but it was the other two. So yeah, so it's like I don't know, what do you do in that? You it's, can't it's really fun. do like half people over you can't people like, overreact and it's like the, black and white has has some sort of nostalgic feel. I mean that's not why we did it, but obviously we did it. We had to make the best out of a bad situation, but like that's not we didn't do it for the nostalgic feel, but like black and white does have nostalgia yeah, when it, it comes to optic. Like Hector's made videos. When Hector makes a video and he's in black and white, it's a fucking I think I saw like a LeBron James barbershop interview or whatever. In black and, and white, something, something was black and white. All I've of definitely uh, seen some. All of uh, Mike Tyson's interviews are all black and white. It's just we tried. In fact, the first, the first like six episodes of the Optic Podcast are all in black and white. Really? Yeah. It's just something. Uh, it, it's something we've tried before, but it's not like obviously. I mean, if it looked like shit, though, it's like, what are you gonna do? Like, there's probably uh, not many ways of fixing. Like, if it pans to Krim, which Krim. At least when I watched, talked a lot. Crim and Formal talked quite a lot, at least, from what I fucking saw. Um, and it's just like every time it pans to them, they're just going to be green and it look weird. And they would have fucking... Yeah. Someone, I don't, I don't know. If, there wouldn't be a whole outrage against it, but so people would have been calling that. There wasn't that really... Too, I but. mean, the outrage... There was a, there was a bit of like people talking about it during the live stream, but like... Oh, yeah. In the Dude, in the a, actual YouTube comments where people aren't just like in the heat of the moment, like blah, 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 like people are yeah. fine, and uh, it was no, I think it's it was a good really fucking good video. It's not even a dude. It's funny, like seeing it's myself. Not even a thing we we should be talking about. Seeing myself in that in in that like, there's so many times. To- you know you know how like people say my laugh is like fake. Mm-hmm. There's so many times. To- there's so many times in that episode where my laugh is actually fake because I suppress it. I go. It's like I eat a fucking sneeze. What you don't want to laugh I, because people say your laugh is fake. In that, in that inner circle specifically. Damn! And now I want to go watch. In that <laughs> inner circle, someone make a hot. Someone make a highlight of, of every time I laugh. I'm laughing like this. <laughs> like in that inner circle specifically, Dude. I tried to be as low key as like I tried to talk as little as possible. Because all I wanted that was them to run or run with the conversation. So I would ask a question and then I would, I, in fact, during the beginning, I would chime in and then I'd be, and then in my mind, I'd be like, shut the fuck, like, yeah. stop, stop chiming yeah, in. Like, were you purposely like, let me ask the questions and then I want, and then these. I don't want to say just, a word. Yeah, that was, want- so I, I got, I think towards the end, I got better at it. I did kept saying random question before I pre like to preface a question. Oh, yeah. It's funny you look back at that and you're I, like, I need to stop saying random question because yeah. it's not a random question. I have it written down. <laughs> but it's like, well, I get that it is. It's like, hey, this is not. This is off topic from what we were just talking right, about. Right, but right. this, I just think this conversation I can tell is dying down. So yeah. here's my next here's topic. My next topic. Yeah. That, but it's. So, but I said but random I, I question did, like I, three or four yeah, times. Yeah, I did see that. Hey, but random question. Shut the, and I'm, I'm watching it back like, fuck. But really, on. you can, bro, some of the best interview, I think it was, it was like Tucker Carl, is it Tucker Carlson? I think so. Something the like name that. rings a bell, yeah. I think he was interv- interviewing Andrew Tate. And I just like, now that I do podcasts, it's like, it's not like I'm like studying to be the best podcaster, but it's like, I, I'll just notice things of like, how does he, when he notices 
that Andrew Tate is wrapping up what he's fucking saying or is like complete answering the question and and like you can tell it's done. It's like how does he go to his next, next question? One? Yeah. And it's just like Tucker would just like sit there, Andrew would finish and he'd just be like so and then he would just say the right. like he doesn't they don't even like transition and I, so, and I need to I need to do that. something completely fucking different. I need to do that. Yeah. It's just th- there's questions that I think I think up that I think people would be like, why the fuck did he ask that? Yeah. But I know that there's a uh, stay on topic. I know that there's a bunch of people out there that would find it interesting. Like I asked the guys why they chose their seating arrangement. Yeah. I want those. Are, that's what I, I want to know. Stuff you, like okay. That. Yeah. That, and I, I think there's a bunch, there's a bunch of people out there that'd be like, I don't fucking care where they sit. Yeah. They're, but they, like, they don't know anything right, about but, like, but like being I think a that, top level pro player. People do. There are discussions on the team of who wants to sit where, yeah, like uh, I used to not want to sit beside some down because he <laughs> because he would fucking lean forward i played leaning back a little bit or like a little straight up he would play closer and he would lean forward and when he would die he would just <laughs> just look at your screen and so i would just fe- see his fat fucking head <laughs> just l- completely go- come into my peripheral and stare at my screen yeah and it just like not that like Especially in a tournament, I'm not going to care who's looking. Like, I'm just fucking focused. But it's like I do – I can just notice it. Yeah. I just notice – I just see his head just – And it makes me just, like, not overthink what I'm doing. But it's just, like, I I don't know what to say besides I notice it. And instead of being, like, fully focused on the the game, I I just – I'm not fully focused when I see him turn his fucking head. I'm, I'm, so it's like, yeah, that is a, that's, that's, those are the questions I like. I'm trying to get into that. Uh, you know, luckily Rogers trusted me with the inner circle series to host pretty much all the episodes. Um, I got sick the first episode, so big timer hosted it, but the rest of them I've hosted. Oh, really? Yeah. The rest of them I've, the, I've hosted. What so. was the inner circle? The first one. It was with the, uh, it was with the cod team. It was like uh, it was like Shotzi and Seth and Will and something like that. It was just like really? it was just like our first. Damn, and Will hosted it. Yeah, bro, Will's so like Will. I mean, Will's a good host, so, but also he like be so beneficial for optic content. Oh, he's like if he, he him just the, like he just does he's good. The perfect amount of flavor and like if you ever need something like. If you ever need that like additional like cherry on top, Will is the che- like yeah. Will is the cherry. In like that's why I was bummed that he's not playing in the offseason this year, but he just has a fucking life. Yeah, he does. Yeah, his, like he does. Somebody said what's also, Will twenty two hundred dollar day today? Somebody tweeted me and said what's Will's excuse for not playing this year? And I just sent him back a picture of him and his kid. Yeah, <laughs> he has a baby. Yeah. Um, but talking about the the interview thing, like I, I'm. I'm kind of excited. I think I think my long-term goal in this industry is probably somewhere along those lines, like hosting and uh interviewing yeah. and uh, you know I mean your whole like around the bar. Yeah, my first episode. I mean episode, that's kind of what First episodes today. Oh shit. Tonight. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, that's like a big It's a big how have you prepared? Because this is a big, I don't want to say it's a big deal with like a big guest and a big, it's, but it, but it's it is outside. It's outside. It's an important start. It, yeah. So, uh, Mike people P are not gonna, Mike P is my first guest. He won't be the first episode, but he's the first person I'm, I'm interviewing and it's, he's a battle rapper. And what I want to do with around the bar is go outside of like what we've done here on like the optic podcast and the eavesdrop and Flycast, like where we pretty much stay in Denver. Just gaming. Yeah. Just gaming stuff. People, you know, around the gaming world. Yeah. Uh, or content creators. I kind of want to go outside of that a little bit. So it's a risk for sure. Like I'm sure, you know, like, uh, every time, every time, uh, Hector goes outside of gaming, if he does like, you know, like idiot s- stuff with like TikTok or no for eavesdrop when he does stuff oh. with like TikTokers or like athletes or like even gaming's <sighs> outside of like COD. Mm-hmm. It's always a little bit of a risk. You know, he does, he, he crushes it every time, but it, it is a risk. So like for me to start, cause for, 
the best business decision that I can make is first five episodes is Hector, Seth, fucking Nate shot. You know what I mean? Like formal, like bam, 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 bam. Fucking just. That would be the best idea, but I don't want to do that. So it might start slow and we build, which is what I, I did it with my, I did it with the hitch content. I did it with TST. We started slow and we built, um, so it's something that I'm, I'm prepared to do again, but I'm excited, man. I've been watching a lot of rap battles over the last like just couple his? days. Or just... Just his, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm a real one, though. I haven't watched the Geechee, the Geechee, Geechee battle Gatti. yet. Is that it? Geechee Gatti? I haven't watched it. I haven't watched the Geechee Gotti battle yet. I'm I heard probably, he got destroyed. I'm probably going to watch it on the way. I'm probably or gonna I think to he it. says he got destroyed. Or that that's like his only loss in the past fucking how long. Yeah. I'm gonna watch I'm it. Gonna... I'm gonna listen to it on the way home. I've heard I've heard I've listened to a few of his podcasts and he talks about the battle and he was like, dude, it's he's like it's the only time I've ever stood in front of somebody and I was like, Yeah, I'm losing. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah. Like so I'm uh I'm excited to I and I'm gonna tell him I'm gonna say that in the in the interview too. I'm like, just so you know, I'm a fucking real one. I didn't even watch the battle until today. <laughs> I want to, yeah, what, um, how are you like preparing for that? Cause you're, you're interviewing a battle rapper and it's not the most known. It's not like a, a loaded Lux or a hollow or yeah, I mean, it's like, not, he's not, yeah, yeah, but he's super fucking good. Insanely good. Like, and and Definitely very, under, very underrated, very well respected. He's been battling on URL for a decade. Yeah. Like he's been, like that whole up against the wall, like the pool sticks, you can, yeah. that shit was like. Eight years ago, yeah. like that was so long what ago. You, besides, or like, what are you doing? Like, I'm guessing you're like writing down questions and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, mm. so for the thing with, like, I'm gonna like the people that I have on the, on the, like horizon for who I'm gonna interview is like a battle rapper and then uh, a professional paintball uh, paintballer and then a. Um, uh, a professional Pokemon Go player. So it's like whenever whenever I venture out into people that our core audience doesn't know, I can talk about what they do like half the podcast. Yeah. Like I'm going to talk about what it's like to be a battle rapper for like m way more than like what's it like for this battle when you did this and that. You know what I instead of I like I want to know what Bat, like there's certain battle rappers I think are just like corny and it's like they don't even understand how whack they are when they're on the stage like Sirius Jones it's like that motherfucker <laughs> that motherfucker will literally people Dude, I will be rapping against him and he'll just uh, yeah what I yeah, heard yeah, that yeah, yeah, bro yeah, yeah, is yeah. he gonna keep and like there's talking yeah. during the other person performance and it's I, just so like, funny you I'm say just that. like, dude, what do people, what do like the battle rappers think about I just, Sirius Jones? I and like just shit listened like that. to, I was just watching Mike P versus Sirius Jones. And oh, Mike really? P, he battled Mike him? Mike P destroyed him, yeah. dude. And I was like. And Sirius Jones probably sat there delusional. Well, it was funny because. Thinking I, he's like winning and I think, you're this trash. I think Sirius like, Jones dude. was coming back from like a five year hiatus and then they gave him Mike P first. And at one point, Sirius Jones literally says, yeah, man, a little bit of a learning curve. <laughs> I was like, really? damn, you can't say yeah. that. Like well, in the I'm, middle I'm of actually, I'm actually happy to hear that he even fucking said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like to me, it's just. I think I think my I think see, there's what, some random battle rap questions. Like I think do random. Don't really think Loaded Lux is that good because sometimes I don't know if he'd be saying shit. Loaded Lux is that good. He is that good. He's that good. He's that good, but it's like as a battle rapper, sometimes I it's think just Loaded as Lux a battle is, rapper, sometimes there has to be like Loaded Lux. energy and shit that people yeah, really yeah, will yeah. hit. Like I get you're smart as fuck and like you're on some next level shit, but it's like you do realize like you gotta get the crowd kind of like there's a Loaded Lux might be the to, might be a better rapper than he is a battle rapper. I think I think his yeah. What is it? Funkmaster Flex? Yeah. Freestyle? I think that's the best freestyle ever written in human history. It's so good. And people are going to say the Black Dot one's better. The Black Dot one, to Black me, is Thought second. Might be, yeah, to nah, me, I'm that's play, the I'm second the best Black one. Thought. But, dude, that Loaded Lux one is the... It's so good. Yeah. There's, like a, there's a Ninja Turtle scheme in there that is unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's the type of shit you like. Though. I love like schemes and shit yeah. like that. You like like hard like I like you certain... like that boss talk, that like big boy talk. 
And I like guns and that's shit. Big, that's big boy talk. Yeah. yeah, like. But then I also like like some of the shit Eminem used to s- say back in the day. Like, I think I've grown out of that. Like, tipped over some cows just from a joke and a laugh. Jumped up, choked the giraffe, snapped his neck, and broke See, like, it in what half. What the fuck does I that mean? I understand that's fucking like <laughs> whack. But like, I I think for I've, some meta for some reason. Yeah. R, well, I, don't, I can't say the R word. Meta. Kid named Greg with a wooden leg. Snatch it off and beat him over the fucking head with a peg. Go to bed with a keg. Wake up with a 40. Mix it with Alka-Seltzer and Formula 44D. Forget an acid tab. I strapped a whole sheet to my forehead. Waited until it absorbed in and fell to the floor dead. No more said. Case close. End of discussion. Blowing up like spontaneous human combustion. Leaving you in the aftermath. But just like... I I mean, it's it's super... It's talent, for sure. To be able to write like that is crazy. that shit. Like I, the, see, I think I'm I'm past that. Not, I think not the new Eminem or he just he get it, bro. You're rhyming every fucking <laughs> every word. Sil- yeah. But like back then, it was just like I think it was like the flow, the voice. It was like not too serious. It was it wasn't too serious. It was yeah. different because it's see, like I what think, the fuck is he talking about? Dude, like, I think like the Eminem that I like is the shit where I like fuck <laughs> make like Toy Soldiers or like his. I think his Mariah his Mariah Carey diss. His yeah. Mariah Carey diss is like that's fucking insane. I think that's like my that's one of my favorite Eminem songs ever. And he's dissing Mariah Carey. <laughs> but like there 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 are times where I don't I don't know. I think I think when he's like actually like writing shit that makes sense, it's super incredible. Yeah. But I d I don't I, I like the schemey type shit. I, I've always liked yeah. triple entendres. Where you got to listen. Yeah, you got to listen to and it. And then you'll catch it. And You like that fucking like Tay Rock shit. That like bar, yeah, bar, there's bar, a, either bar, the, Either bar, the Tay bar. Rock hood yeah. shit. I like it too. Don't get me wrong. But like I, I do Gun like that. bars, what he's going to do to your mother. Some <laughs> shit. Like that type of shit. Or just like the old Eminem doesn't really make sense. But the flow and the voice and the... Just the rhyming pattern that he does. It's just yeah. that type of shit. I know we only have like 10, 15, 20 minutes left, but I got to piss. All right, man. The Flycast podcast is brought to you by Center. Center offers all natural hemp derived CBD beverages with premium ingredients to help you find clarity and focus in everyday life. Products including CBD sparkling waters, ready to mix CBD drink powders, and more. Center is perfect for any time of day and focused on providing healthy ways to relax, focus, and find clarity. Take a sip, take a moment, find your center. Flycast is also brought to you by Corduroys, these comfy-ass beanbags. Take your gaming space to the next level with Optic Gaming Beanbags uh, by Corduroys. This exclusive beanbag is durable, long-lasting, versatile, easily converting from a chair to a bed, making it perfect for when you need a quick nap during long gaming sessions. With Corduroys Never Go Flat design, you'll be chilling on clouds for years to come. Up your game with the Optic Gaming Beanbag, available for sale now on corduroys.com. And don't forget that you can use ShopPay to split your purchase into easily manageable payment plans. And we're back to the podcast just like that. That might be the smoothest ad read transition in podcast history. <laughs> <laughs> look uh, at, look uh, who's back. <laughs> I have, um, I know exact. If you don't, if you don't remember from last week there was something popping going on with halo and twitter halo twitter by imagine women by discord by Scrubs. a person named magic moonshot okay she has since returned okay and she has mentioned a few messages can you give me the tldr because i saw that she tweeted like nine screenshots and i was like mm. what's the tldr too long didn't read uh the spark notes if you will fuck uh she basically doubled down on everything <laughs> she said because i was gonna go through it's been a quiet 48 hours i want to make this post because <laughs> she's been asked by many to clarify her position um she has nothing but love for all people there we go. Um, I will. Sh- she's worked hundreds of events that were open to all people. I she makes it the- known that 
she works with all people. Every event she's ever worked on, it's it's open to all people. Her goal is to not shun people out because they are trans. Her ladies, she just stands on the point that her ladies scrim event was created, was a created was created for a space for biological women to compete in Halo as something supplementary to like an open competition that like everyone's male and female are both yeah. involved in. Um, but this is, is this an event or a scrim? Discord she server? Well, apparently she calls it a lady scrim event. I don't know not- if she, I think her goal was the host event. Have like a ladies discord. Okay. Okay. The ladies can scrim in this discord. And then I think she would want to do events with just biological female. Biological females. Right. Okay. Um, so she's still standing on that. Um uh, Tony, the, catch on, uh, the thing sorry. with that is like I don't think I think that's up to her to do. I mean, yeah. it's all up to her to do. But it's like, up to her to do, but like, dude. But like, th- this ain't the place to do that. If she's going to get, I mean, if she. Because no one's going to support you. Right. Like, if she's going to get support doing that, then sure, go do your thing. But like, you know, it, I, I feel like you're, you're taking away, you're taking away from yourself. Like, if yeah. you're like. Liter- I'm that's only, the only thing you're doing. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm going to have a ladies event and ladies are like, hell yeah, let's do it. And you're like, well. Only biological ladies can play in it. Now the ladies are like, all right, well, yeah, like now, like you know, girls that are the women that play Halo that are friends with trans women are now going to be like, well, yeah, I'm not playing the shit. Yeah, like your event is not. Let's go make our own where like my friends that are trans women can play in it. It's like that's and I think that's pretty much what happened. I just don't like (sighs) cool, cool. It's cool, cool. She's standing up for what she believes in whatever like cool i guess but like like i i I feel like the reward is not any anywhere near what yeah and if page just comes in and flicks us off and if you didn't listen (laughs) totally unrelated by the way she just happened to walk in and flick us off (laughs) if you didn't god damn parched if you didn't listen to last week's ep magic moonshot is a lady who has casted some Halo events with LVT. She's been, she was on status quo, the Halo org, and she's just been a part of the Halo community. But she started running a ladies discord in a, for ladies scrims yep. so ladies can practice against ladies. And she is not allowing trans people in, uh, trans women in. And she got, she publicly stated that. And she got fucking destroyed. Well, for she that. she also used the Bible in her tweet because she's yeah, a, she's the, a her Christian. Re- her and, reasoning is the Bible, basically, right? In which I kind of like. I guess I get. I mean, I'm just not familiar with the Bible. To but I guess if you truly a hundred percent believe in the Bible, I, I is the Bible against trans stuff i don't i don't know Uh, but that was her um that's her point of that's the re that's her reasoning of not letting trans women play in her scrims is because if they are not biological females then they cannot be in a part of her discord um if she wants to say thank you for hearing her out especially thank the people who have checked up on her and agree both people who agree with my perspective and friends who disagree but respect my right to hold my own beliefs. Sure. I especially want to thank many Christians who offered scriptures and encouragement and prayers. Um, don't know where she goes from here. If I have to leave the gaming space behind, I'm willing to do that. But if God gives me a path forward in this space, I will follow it. I don't think she will ever be back in the gaming space. Anyone who works with her will just be... And I don't wish bad on her. I wish she could be me neither. I don't wish bad. I wish I wish the best for her. I don't want she, her she didn't to be say, depressed for her fucking whole life. The thing is, is I wouldn't say what she did is transphobic. She's not. Yeah, I don't. I don't think she sits there she, disliking trans. She people. didn't she talk just, bad pro- about probably, trans people. She didn't. She didn't attack anybody that we know of that is transgendered. She just said. 
I want this to be women only. And I'm going to make a stance that like, just in case someone has ill intentions where they're like, you know, I'm a guy, but today I'm like, whatever, like take advantage of that situation. And they just want to play in that for this particular, what I'm going to do over here. It's only biological women. That's what she was going for, which is still, I still don't agree with it, but I don't think what she did was transphobic. So I think if she wanted, and if she really pursued this gaming shit, she could still, she could still do stuff here. Well, I don't, I don't think, think it's any irreversible. company would work with her just simply because of the backlash. I don't it think so. Not I don't think she'll ever be it would on not. a three for three stream. No, but I think she could do stuff with like B tier tourney throwers. Well, that would or, be like LVT and like, obviously she was let go of LVT. I don't, I just don't know if I see a company willing to, there's just other people to get rather than like agree. picking up this person I agree. and dealing with getting fucking thrashed. There's a lot of fans. people in Halo trying to, there's a lot of commentary commentators in general and in Halo that are trying to make a name for themselves. So yeah. why not go with that? But I don't, I don't think she's, I don't think she sits there and, hates trans people or wish it's bad on trans people. I think she believes that that isn't God created or some shit. And that she's just, I, t <laughs> I tweeted yesterday. They got, they got to stop giving white guys podcasts. Yeah. They got to stop giving us mics, yeah, man. I know. Maybe you got to take this shit away from me. Cause, <laughs> cause I'll be, I'll be starting sentences and be like, uh, <laughs> I, like, don't I don't think, know where this is going. I don't, like, I don't think she's transphobic. I don't think she wishes bad pe bad on trans people. I don't think so. But either. she religiously can't get can't agree or support this. I have in involving trans people in her community. She looks at would be agreeing or supporting this. Yeah. So she just can't do it she just can't do it but uh who knows where she goes from here i know i know she has a kid and i think her kid is homeschooled at this point according to her tweets not because of her tweets but so i think she's kind of just like a stay-at-home mom we don't know i don't know i guess we'll find out there That's are the, I, I was surprised that like most of the people in the comments last week were pretty chill about for our for our fly cast <sighs> really yeah they were like damn they're talking about real shit this week not Nick being hung over. And I was like, I don't drink no more. I'm fucking retired. <laughs> the summer's over. <laughs> Me and Michelle are thinking about like, where are we like, do we want to move after this podcast or what the fuck? <laughs> do it. <laughs> After after do, the fly cast is done, they're they're moving. Um, where do we want to move after our, the lease is up? And it's like, do we stay at the same place or and at during the summer, I was like, no, we should just stay here. Like, I need somewhere with a pool. But then I, at now I'm like, maybe I don't fucking need a pool. Because the pool was 90% of my drinking. Well, was I, think like, your, I, would, I think your mental problems are probably 90% of your drinking. But the pool didn't. Like, I don't. Well, I don't drink. Well, no, that's a fair point. <laughs> but I don't. It's like if I'm having a bad day. I don't just start drinking or if like I'm depressed, I don't start, if I'm anxious, I don't just start drinking. Yeah. But if like I go out to the pool or we go to, a, cause like we'll get done with our days and she'll get done with her days by like one, two or noon. But like now that I'm streaming, not really. But since I wasn't streaming, I would just maybe do content and then head to the pool, whether it's our pool, a friend's pool. Like it was just, a, yeah. It was a lot of fucking outs being of, outside this summer. A lot of water. And a lot of water. And I was just, I would, it's just so much better if I just take seven shots in an hour and lay on the chair. It's <laughs> not better. That can't be But then be like better. once that gets started, I feel, I'll feel pretty good. So I'll keep it going. And then I got some. I wonder who the first person I'm going to have on the, on around the bar that's a, that's sober. That just like for, that refuses just, to yeah, drink. Yeah, just doesn't drink. Cause I'm gonna, cause I wanna make like mocktails and shit. Like that would be fun. Yeah. Like make a. a I'm excited not to drink. I don't after like sun, being in After Saturday, you'll never have to drink again. Until like Halloween or like some special fucking event. But on Saturday, you're gonna, so have, what to, we, what you gonna have, to, have to Mario that cart. What do we have to do Saturday? So it's, a, it's called Birio Cart. Uh, you're playing against. Everyone better have to drink like a six pack. Okay. <laughs> You really are zero or a one hundred. 
Yeah. It's so it's, like, it's Mar- drink one beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mario Kart. It's Mario Kart, but you have to finish your beer before you finish the race. But you can't drink and drive at the same time. You have to put your controller down oh, to drink. Oh, really? So you either, that's easy because I'm a chugger. But you can't drink until after the first lap is completed. Uh. So, because a lot of people play Birio Kart and it's da, 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 and then everybody chugs and then they go. But yeah. I don't like, I, I want, I want it to well, be I'm just going to get to the end, to stop the right end. before the finish line, chug my shit, and then just pop across yeah. the finish line. Ca- cross the finish Victory line. Victory is mine. Do we want to read some, is it just one race? Um, if you win, if you place first or second in the first race, then you play in finals. What's finals? Just finals. Finals would be three, three. I think, I think finals we do first to two. Okay. What is it on? What? Nintendo 64. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Um, do we want to read Twitter questions? Yeah. You can read a few. I do have to take a nice little poop. Yeah. So Um, let's see. I always I'll ask for questions just as a crutch, also to see what the fuck's going on in the world because I don't really know. Like, there's got to be some clickbait shit we can fucking. Um, yeah, might need to edit here if I can't find any. I'm a Ace Ace TV asks, "What do you do from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m.?" I don't really feel like publicly answering that Ace because it's not much. (laughs) Grocery shop. Uh, yeah. eat f- a bunch of food, watch YouTube videos, click on Tarek's stream and watch him f- make Valorant look completely easy because it's so hard and it does Dude. not make sense to me. I actually want to talk about that a little bit. I watched this motherfucker named Eggster. He, he plays Yoru. Dog. He's so fucking good. Dude, it pisses it's me so off. It makes no sense. How good he is. It makes no sense. I mean, it makes sense how the game works, but just how good people are, bro. Insane. Um. Uh, God. Maybe I should really pick these out before it starts, but I tweet it right before it starts. Um. The world needs an... Someone just said, the world needs an optic freestyle cipher. That would be fucking funny though. Like uh, how they optic. used to do the BET ciphers. <laughs> that shit would be funny. Yeah, who would who funny. would rap besides us? Me, you, Scump. Bose. Bose. And that's it. Hex would do some dumb shit. <sighs> no, Hex wouldn't make himself look dumb. Hex hates look I like making myself look dumb. Hex yeah, I don't hates really mind that it. shit. Um Yeah, I really should have picked these out. Okay, I think I think we're good because I have it's it's coming out. Okay, you can go shit. It's coming we're out. We're good then. We're good. Uh, thank you guys so much Episode for your 90. questions today. Episode I'm 90. I'm gonna save these for yeah, next save, week. Save them for next there week. are a decent amount. <laughs> that was episode 90. Come to the off season. Actually, the off season's probably already done as you guys are seeing this. I hope the off season went well. I hope it wasn't a massive failure. Yeah, what not the? tragedy. I meant failure. A um, ma- wait, no, no. shut up. <laughs> uh, we'll see you <laughs> in the next one. Ten more episodes until our ten hour podcast. Woo! Get ready. Peace, everybody. Matt Craig played that outro music. <laughs>